Good morning, YouTube. This is Rick, Black Rifle, North Augusta, South Carolina. Today we're here to talk about the CP33 by Caltech. It's a new pistol that's uh, out by Caltech. And this is it. You got a quad stack magazine. Read the instruction manuals because there's a learning curve on this pistol. Well, just a little bit of warning. If you don't load the magazine properly, it won't. It'll malfunction every time. So make sure you read the uh, uh, instruction manual on how to load this uh, magazine here. As you can see, it's a quad stack magazine. Holds 33 rounds of 22 long rifle. It's a polymer pistol. You got ambidextrous safeties. A slide release, side jet ejection port, you get a rear charging handle like you charge an AR, you get some uh, beautiful sights here, pistols empty by the way, anyway those are the sights, I really like these, uh, these sights, they're beautiful. The superb accuracy of this pistol is un unbelievable and the firepower you get with it so you got a multi-purpose pistol here that has capacity accuracy and dependability um, I wouldn't hesitate to use uh, the 22 uh, in the self-defense arena uh, people scoff at it, but there's a study out there and in the man's study, he come uh, pointed out in 154 shootings involving the 22 long rifle pistol in a self-defense scenario that 66% of those shot with the 22 long rifle were shot were incapacitated with one shot 66 percent out of the 154 i think that's a roughly what 93 95 people uh were were stopped with one shot out of 154 people that's uh it's pretty impressive uh 34 percent of those people that were shot in the torso or head uh were fatalities. 34% uh, would be some, roughly 54 people in 154 were fatalities. But 90 something, uh, 90, between 92 and 97, 66% would be like 97 people were shot uh, with one shot stop. Also, there was a uh, Native American woman in the 50s. Uh, her last name was Bella. Uh, in Montana, she had a 22 single shot rifle. And it was not a long rifle, it was a 22 long. She delivered one shot to a grizzly's head in the right spot and killed a grizzly bear. She was hunting rabbits and a grizzly bear started to stalk her and come after her. So she was in a box canyon and she had no choice. The bear was hunting her and she delivered one shot with a 22 long to the bear and killed it. You could look it up. Grizzly bear killed 1953 world record actually. It was a world record grizzly bear. Uh, killed by a 22 so don't underestimate the 22 folks uh, that's a lot of people in that study and I put the link to the study uh, an alternate uh, alternative look at handgun stopping power uh, and it goes through a bunch of different calibers but it even points out that the 22 is uh, uh, can be a contender in the ring of uh, 
uh, defensive firearms uh, for self-defense. But this uh, little pistol is uh, something uh, I'm, I'm impressed with. Uh, the uh, company's out of Cocoa, Florida. Uh, Keltec. And you know they make a bunch of different rifles. MSRP on this is about 475 now. Um, quite expensive. Uh, there's a learning curve. Uh, if you don't load the magazine properly, you don't follow the instructions in the manual, you'll end up uh, making these rims lock because this is quad stacked. Um, but if you load it properly like this one is, it'll function flawlessly. You'll be able to fire all the rounds without, uh, without a jam. But if you load one improperly, you might get one shot off and the rest of jam up. So that's uh, a little warning uh, for those who don't read manuals. Um, I found the pistol to be very accurate. I love the little Picatinny rail on top. It allows for any red dot or any, any kind of little scope you even mount on here. Uh, they make a pistol uh, brace for it. Uh, you put a muzzle brake on the end. You put a, a suppressor on there. It's got a threaded uh, threaded barrel. So that's the pistol. I was impressed with it. I carry 22 when I go in the woods fishing or I go checking traps or uh, just for a walk in the woods. I always towed it a little 22. And uh, the little pistol that complements my Ruger 10 22 rifle that I, I, I would really like. Anyway, that's it from. Uh, Rick in North Augusta, South Carolina on the CP33 pistol. 33 rounds of 22 long rifle. I'll uh, include a couple targets that uh, that were shot with it. It was very accurate. So uh, it's a multi-purpose pistol. You got a lot of a lot of things you can do to it. You know, with aftermarket add-ons. I recommend buying the uh, the ammo loader for it. It make it a lot easier when you uh, load your magazines. It took me four or five tries to get it right, but after I read the manual and uh, looked at a couple YouTube videos, some 22 Plankster uh, on YouTube. Uh, I was able to uh, load the pistol and get it to fire and do, do what it was supposed to do. Because when I loaded the magazine, I got one shot off and everything else was all jammed up in there. But I loaded it the way he said, and it was proper. I made sure, looked at the picture, look at the picture in the manual, and it, it'll show you this magazine and make sure you're. Uh, rounds are stacked like it shows here, like you see here, and it'll be proper. And the uh, weapon will fire and, and function properly. But if you get one wrong, it, it, it won't. But they make a um, couple of loaders for these. And Keltec sells one on their site. It's about $34. I recommend it. It makes it faster, it loads it faster, and it loads it properly the first time, so you don't have to worry about not having it loaded. Magazines are about 50 bucks a piece, 49 something for these uh, clear magazines. It comes with two of them, but you m might want to get two more. Uh, if you. Uh, 
if you like, you know, say put another hundred dollars in magazines uh, for two of them. It's quite expensive, but uh, the firepower you got there and the fun that you'd have plinking with it, uh, target shooting, and you can go all the way out to 100 yards with it. At 7 yards, 21 feet, I could keep a, a group about the size of a golf ball, a little smaller than a golf ball, on rapid fire. So, uh, keep the group... Uh, Golf, like I said, golf ball size. Your average shooting in a self-defense scenario takes place between zero feet and uh, 21 feet, which is seven yards. That's where your average uh, self-defense shootings take place. I'm not saying go out there and carry a 22, but you can, you know, uh, nothing is 100%, uh, not even the big 45 ACP or the 10 millimeter, it's not 100%, they're not always one shot stops, it's all about speed, accuracy, and being able to place that round into a vital area, and that's what you should practice for, speed and accuracy. Uh, be proficient with your firearm. In a panic situation, you should be able to calmly put a bullet right into a vital. So that's what you have to practice for. You have to vanquish fear and panic. Fear and panic causes disaster, folks. I've seen it in combat. And it happens in real, real life scenarios here in the real world. Panic and pandemonium set in, and it uh, everything goes to hell in a handbasket. But if you could put vanquish fear and panic, and you could deliberately put a round into a kill zone accurately uh, with your firearm, it will be a one-shot stop. I don't care what caliber you're using. I don't care if you're using a BB gun. You put it into the right place, and and you can do that accurately and proficiently. Uh, you will be the survivor. That's what you have to do. You have to train. And 22 is a real good training tool because it's cheap to shoot, and it's not real loud. It doesn't have uh, a lot of recoil. So the first time shooters learning to shoot, uh, 22 is a good thing to learn to shoot with. That's what I learned with. Uh, had a, as a child, I had a 22, but I knew it was no toy. I seen what it did to the game. Killed about a blue million squirrels with it and rabbits and stuff hunting. Of course, we ate that game back then. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Anyway, happy Independence Day from Rick in North Augusta, South Carolina. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.